Are you today? Are you looking forward to doing some drawing for Tease the Valley Music Services? Do you like my ears? Yes, they should really be sticking up, but I quite like floppy ears. Actually, they look quite good, don't they? Now, this is not my normal look, but I will do anything for Tease Valley Music Services. I love working for them. You might remember me from last time. I was doing Snappy World Book Day. We were drawing crocodiles and elephants and all sorts. Now, we're going to be looking at a brand new song bad dog and this is a bad dog mad dog now we're not going to be spending the whole drawer along drawing horrible dogs because he was a bit of a horrible dog licking icing off the cake and if you have a look behind me here there are my illustrations and i'm going to be doing some drawing for you today so we're going to start with a lovely animal and another lovely animal and then we will finish with bad dog mad dog Rah! okay so you will need your pencil Maybe not a giant one like mine, and plenty of paper and a good dose of confidence, okay? Now, dogs are quite easy to draw if you know how. So get ready for our first dog. Oh! I've slipped into something a bit more comfortable. I don't think I could draw with those ears on. So, have you got your pencils? Now, if I draw really lightly, I can easily rub it out. So I'm going to draw a very, very light square. Now this is my toast shape and you're thinking, I can't see it. On your piece of paper, you are going to draw a biggish square. Now we're not worrying too much about the body, we're looking at his face. And we're going to do a lovely sort of wolfy husky with some gorgeous eyes. So draw that piece of square toast on your picture. You can work portrait or landscape, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to draw that on my board very lightly with a crayon. Okay, now the first thing we're going to do, I've got some marker pens here. We are going to come up and over, up and over. So this is a pointy-eared dog, so it's quite a lot of floppy-eared dogs, curly-eared dogs, pointy-eared dogs. They are very, very cute and very wolfy. Now this is going to be a husky. I do like huskies, but sometimes they look very, very wolfy, don't they? And I think it's going to eat me up. So I've got a V for a nose. I'm going to do a line going across and a shiny circle. Now you could just colour that in black if you want to, but I always leave a little circle. The circle of what? That's what I always say. A good bit of Elton John there. <laughs> it's Christmas after all. Now, I am gonna put some lines going up. Now remember, you can pause this video at any time if I'm going too fast. I do do everything quite fast, but what I'm going to do is put some smallish, far apart eyes on here. Okay, so we're gonna do some big dreamy eyes. We're gonna do some bonkers eyes for Bad Dog because he's nasty. So I'm gonna do a circle of words. Sing along if you know it, children. You're all thinking, I don't know it. I think it's Lion King. So look, I've done a circle of white, I've left it white and I've colored around it. Don't worry if you have colored that circle in. It's totally fine. They're the sorts of eyes that I do anyway. Now, do we want him to be sad? No, 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 we don't. It's Christmas. We want him to be super happy. So he's going to be smiley. He's got a licky tongue. And very, very opposite to bad dog. So he is looking quite cute. Now, this could be a German shepherd, couldn't it? It could even be a West Highland Terry. There's lovely little white dogs. I like those as well. So he's got a little tongue. I'm going to put some colour on. You can colour this after. I'm just going to put this rosy cheek on here and a rosy cheek on there. And dogs have got whiskers. They're not as big as pussy cats. I do love cats as well. I love the fact is there's just loads more types of dogs in the world. We've got skinny dogs, big dogs. I love dogs. Now, we're going to do some friendly 
eyebrows and we want him to look a bit more Christmassy. So I think if you've got a bit of space in between there, you can draw a little fish finger on his head. Where have you drawn a fish finger on his head, Liz Million? It's because this is the start of his hat. Everything starts with little shapes. We've started with toast and now we're going on to fish finger. This is making me hungry. Now I'm going to come over here. I'm just going to put a little hat on. Now if you don't want to do a Santa hat, you can get a nice green because I've got a green version of this as well. It's all very festive, these colours. Now, I'm going to come round with a very hairy face. Now, this is definitely making him look more like um, a dog. I'm going to put some little bits in there like that. Now, you could do whatever colour dog you like. I have got um, a grey here. And I've also got a lilac. I might get lilac just for a change. So I could have gone for grey. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come round and down, round and down. And lilac is like a very pale purple. I'm sure you've all heard of lilac before. And when you are an artist, you have to be quite good at choosing the sorts of colours that you put on your picture. He looks a little bit like a raccoon. And then... I would come round here. Now, if I was drawing a big bad wolf, I would definitely change those eyes. Now, these are definitely going to be bad dog eyes. Have a look at this one. Oh, I'm going to gobble you up. Oh, my word. <laughs> so, look how different he is. If he was dreaming about a Christmas turkey, mm, this is making me hungry. Now, he looks very cute. What I want us to do is to make this like um, a poster that you could put up at school or in your window, or you could do it on the front of a card. So, we're going to draw a paw. This is not his body. I did a tiger like this once at school and the little girl went, he's got a very small body, Liz Millian. And I was like, what? They thought I was going to give him paws like that. <laughs> That's how reception think. They're brilliant. So he's got two potato paws like that. It doesn't matter if one is bigger than the other. Your brain doesn't like doing the same thing again sometimes. Okay. So once you've got his paws on, he's not a bad dog with claws. We're going to come round here. Now you can make this sign as big as you like. Now I've obviously got to fit it on. If you've got a bigger piece of space there, you can make your sign bigger. And then I'm going to get um, a green or a red. And I'm just going to write Merry Christmas, but I'm doing swirly writing. Now, have you ever run out of room before? Yes, it's probably a good idea to do it with a very pale pencil. And then if you get to here and you think, oh, I haven't got room for the mass, the smass at the end, you can always rub it out and do your word smaller. Now, I'm quite used to drawing uh, and writing in a very weird small space like this. And I am not doing it with a ruler. But what I want to do is put an exclamation mark on. Merry Christmas! And then you can decorate it, you can put holly on there, you could put stars, you could put to your grown-up or your teacher or your friend, and the last thing I would do is put some shoulders on if you think you need it, and then if I've got my lilac, I might put a lilac on there. And remember, you could do a pale blue one. It looks a bit wolfy, but actually, I think that is pretty smashing. Okay. How did you do with our first dog? Did you do okay? Did you think it was easy, hard, or okay? Have a look at your picture. Was it really tricky or do you think you did all right? Now, this is going to be one of my favourite types of dogs. And I have it on my jumper here. Can you see? It's a little sausage dog, a little dash hound. Now, I love sausage dogs. And they're very, very long. So on your paper, I think we might need to get a new piece of paper. And we might have to go landscape for this one. Now, on your piece of paper, I think you need to draw a carrot right over this side. Now really, it is a teardrop, but I think carrots make really good shapes for slugs on skateboards, uh, they're good for hedgehogs, all sorts of shapes. 
um, all sorts of pictures. So we have got this carrot. It's over here because we want to draw a little skinny body. Now I'm just going to draw it on here like that. So there's my carrot. I'm not worrying if it looks too long or thin. It doesn't matter. These are cartoony characters. So over the pointy end, we are going to do our little sausage dog nose. And yes, it has a little shiny nose. We're going to do some cute eyes looking up. Look how big those pupils, the black bits in your eye are. These are really, really light and shiny. So we're going to put our circle of light in there. And I think I'm going to do a little girl dog because I do like girl dogs. I have little Peggy and she's lovely. She's a Bedlington Terrier and she looks like a little sheep. Now, this is also a good way of starting a sea lion and a seal. It does look quite sealy, doesn't it? Now, we're gonna put a little line on here and just a few short whiskers. It's looking even more like a seal. And a little smiley mouth. Now, this definitely doesn't look like a sausage dog just yet. Okay, now what I'm going to do, if you'd have done that with pencil, you could rub this bit out. What I'm gonna do is put a big, long, floppy ear on. And can you see, because I did it with crayon, I can't rub that out. So what I would do is I would disguise it with a fur pattern, like that, and then I would go over it. Okay, now I'm doing a girl character. You don't have to if you don't want to. Now they're very flat coated. Some are very hairy though. Long haired ones are just adorable. I'm doing a smooth haired dash hound and I love these dogs. Now, the body is gonna be obviously like a long sausage, like that. <laughs> now, that looks again like that fish finger shape, doesn't it? Or a letterbox. <laughs> you can go really long if you wanna exaggerate, but obviously my flip chart, I can't really do that. And then if you've got a little gap there, it's going to go here. Now, I would normally draw the leg here, but just to show you, I would draw a little paw there. If you've got room on the body, draw the body uh, with the leg on. But I'm just going to draw titchy little legs. And they are really cute. Some of them are very nervous. Some of them are very sort of barky and bitey. But I think it's just small dogs. I think they feel a little bit like they have to protect themselves. And it's like when you see a chihuahua, which are devil dogs, like mad dog, bad dog. And uh, I think chihuahuas, they're very feisty. Let's just say that. Okay, so I've gone round it with my pen. I want it to look like she's smiling. I've opened the mouth a bit. and. Doesn't look very Christmassy yet, does it? So I'm gonna put a little coat on her. Oh, this is gonna be so cute! Now, these colors are great because they let me color in quite quickly, but it does look a little bit scruffy. But what I'm gonna do is I would do that a really lovely red or a green, or I might even put a sort of checky tartan, like a, a checky pattern that is lovely and festive isn't it nice and Christmassy that one and we could put a little bobble hat on or a little hat like this oh look it looks Scottish now doesn't it <laughs> and I'm just gonna get my green this time and if I was coloring that sausage dog in I would probably just stick to like a traditional sort of poo brown or a sausage brown. So in here, look how popular this has been, this brown here. Uh, I think it actually snapped. But uh, this brown is like a sort of rich chocolatey, sort of hot chocolate colour. Oh, hot chocolate, did somebody mention hot chocolate? Now I have got these lovely pictures here. And you can always pause it if I have gone too fast. And I'll probably put some photographs on the end of the video if you wanted to pause it and then you could copy it. And under this little body, I'm going to draw some snow. He's playing in the snow. Hello, how gorgeous, how gorgeous. And we've got a little waggy tail there as well, which I need to put a bit of colour on. Okay, so you could always do a little speech bubble with woof or Merry Christmas. Okay, was that easy, hard, or okay? He's a bad dog, a mad dog, nothing he won't take. He even licked the icing off the Christmas. 
I reckon you've done really well so far. Now, the last one is going to be a weird sort of shape. Not that one, that one. It's a bit like a sort of baked bean or um, a potato. So if you wanted just to do a potato like that, it would be fine. Okay, so just draw a potato on a new piece of paper. Now you're probably thinking, well, Mad Dog, Mad Dog, doesn't sound too bad, but actually if I read you the lyrics of that song, you will find out he was a very horrible dog indeed. Not like our dogs, not like my little dog. Uh, definitely would not be getting a stocking from Santa. Okay, so these are the drawings that I did. I drew them by hand and then I scanned them into my iPad and then I mucked about with loads of brush strokes. And you can see he is biting fairy lights. He's been generally very horrible. And then the next picture you can see, he has got Santa in a grip. And the, the lyrics say, he waited by the fire until Santa Claus appeared. The presents all got torn to shreds and so did Santa's beard. He's a mad dog, bad dog, nothing he won't take. He even licked the icing off the Christmas cake. Oh, I don't know. I'm quite a cakey person. I'd probably still eat it. I'm not fussy. Now, have you got this shape? We are going to go wild. He's got really weird eyes. But we're going to start with his um, ears. So his ears are sort of at the top of his head, like this. A bit like koala's ears, a bit like owl's wings. I wanted to make him look like um, a very scruffy kind of dog. He's got a big nose with your shiny light and you're gonna just color this in very quickly. Now, his eyes, <laughs> I do on purpose a big eye and a small eye and they're both a little bit off a bit like the simpsons and he's going to have a lovely smile now at the moment he does look quite cute and i reckon when the family got him he was probably on his best behavior like hello <laughs> so how do we make him look like a bad dog well i've got my big pen here and this big pen looks like a microphone. Hi there, girls, boys. Have a look. You're going to draw. Oh, my word. This is a very thick pen, and it's one of my favourite pens. And I'm going to add a very big amount of hair there. I also make characters look evil by putting shadow underneath. Now, if he was really angry, look what happens with his mouth. He'd be like, rah! And this is what he would do. He eats the fairy lights, he rips them off the tree, so everyone's sat in the dark. So I tried to make him look like he was ripping up um, fairy lights and all sorts, so I would change his mouth, okay? Now, around his face, we're gonna put some hair, so he's not really any kind of breed. He's a mongrel. He is just um, made up of all different dogs. And um, he was all sorts of greys and black. And he lies in wait, waiting for Santa. So <laughs> we're not going to draw poor Santa. We're not going to draw the carol singers getting the bums bitten. <laughs> and I apologise if you're frightened of dogs. This is probably adding to your fear. But um, it's just a made-up song, so don't worry. Nobody really got hurt. I'm putting a bit of brown on there. Now, his body, I'm going to draw him looking forward. So I'm going to draw his little fat body like that. And should we draw him weeing on a Christmas present? Yeah, it's probably for your horrible brother or sister. If you've got a brother or sister, it's for them, not for you. Now, we're going to do very similar feet like we did with those little sausage dogs so he hasn't got very long legs but he's got long enough legs to jump onto the worktop i bet and eat that turkey he has got nasty claws oh poor bad dog i wonder if he's just sort of having a, a bad day no i think he's always like this now the other leg you can draw here if you like now i think in the picture i drew it here but it doesn't matter now the other leg is gonna be up in the air. If you've ever seen a boy dog have a wee, they cock their leg, don't they? Like, and <laughs> down here, you're gonna draw a lovely, lovely, beautifully 
wrapped Christmas present. You can do this with colours if you prefer. That looks like the British flag, doesn't it? The uh, English flag. But look, oh, Auntie Carol has put some effort into that bow. She's gone. She's gone to the fanciest shop, got some beautiful ribbons and, oh, very expensive paper. Look, it's all foil wrapped. Beautiful. And then I'm going to get my horrible... Um, yellow it's a very dark yellow and I'm just gonna put some wee on there <laughs> and put a puddle around there as well now this is pretty disgust a pretty disgusting uh character to end on but you know what we need a good laugh don't we and everybody is always in a good mood around Christmas so I'm putting more fur on his body and he looks like he's enjoying himself. Now, is this going to be a bit of shadow under his body like this? We've got action lines. And he looks like he would be going hee-hee, wouldn't he? So if you wanted to put hee-hee, <laughs> you can do. He doesn't need a speech bubble because he can't speak really. He's not that sort of a dog. Some of my dogs walk and talk and like have trousers on and own houses. This is a proper like rare dog. And if you've got a bit of space under there, I also gave him quite a nice sort of spiky yellow collar. It doesn't have to be exactly the same as mine. Okay, that one was definitely the most fun. I love drawing nasty dogs. Hopefully you did too. <laughs> now I hope you have had as much fun as I have today now I hope you've done better than you thought you were going to do you might be looking at your pictures thinking I am actually quite good because I think you've probably worked really hard today now I've really enjoyed myself I think you can tell I love drawing animals and dogs are my favorite animals I like goats as well but dogs I will cross roads for dogs I'm obsessed with dogs and talking of dogs my little Peggy has got her little skinny legs crossed because she needs a wee yes but not against a Christmas present that would be disgusting so I'm going to take this off my head and I'm going to walk her around the block because she needs a little wee so have a wonderful Christmas. Draw all Christmas. Hopefully you might get some new pens and paper for Christmas like I used to get every year and have a super time. Well done everyone. Bye. Ow!